want to kill him, and what stopped them from killing Moses? Um, because he was uncircumcised. You ah, uh, you answered it. How can Moses be a man of God when he's clear violation of the Abrahamic covenant? If you read Genesis 17 verses 9 to 14, God said the sign between Abraham and God and Abraham's descendants is the circumcision. Every male born must be circumcised in eighth day. Was Moses an Israelite, the descendant of Abraham? Yes. Okay. So how could Moses be a man standing in the place of God, representing God, when he had violated the Abrahamic covenant by failing to circumcise his own son, failing to lead by example, and failing to honor the covenant of his ancestor Abraham? Okay. So... What was God doing? Making an example. Um, I don't care who you are. You are not above the law. May God have mercy on all of us and forgive me and heal me to be a doer of his word and be patient with me. You're not above the law. If you are a servant of God and you know God's law and you then choose to ignore it, then you will be more accountable before God than someone who doesn't know the law of God. What excuse did Moses have for not circumcising his son? None. So how are you going to go lead my people, <clears throat> the descendants of Abraham, who were given the Abrahamic covenant, which required every male born must be circumcised, and you neglect to do that for your own son? That was the point. 